All right, when, we, when I start uh, showing students how to solve a system of equations using elimination, I like to begin by showing why we can add equations together and, and, and we get, it doesn't matter, we get, it's still going to work. And the way I, I show them why this works, the, the, the idea behind the elimination, I start with just a simple example using numbers. 2 plus 4 we know is 6, and 3 plus 7 is 10. If we add these, 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 plus 7 is 11, and over here we get 6 plus 10. Adding these, we, we, this is 16 is equal to 16, which is what we would expect. It's the same thing over here, it's just instead of numbers, we've got letters that on the left side that are being added. Or subtracted. So that just shows them why it works and it, it's no big deal to add them. So now to continuing 1x and 1x is 2x and this problem was, is set up already where we don't need to manipulate it to multiply so that when we add the two equations one of the variables is eliminated. Here the y's will be eliminated immediately. Those add up to 0 and here we get 14 and then we divide by 2, and we get x is 7. And now we know we can plug this into either equation. And again, the reason why is because what we're finding, the solution to this system, whatever the graph of these two equations are, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's the one point, the xy value, that works in both equations the point of intersection and that is the one point that we when I plug this x value and we get the same y value for both lines or both equations I know well, what if we pick a different x value well notice when I go up to here this is the y value here this is the y we get different y values for this x value this is the only point that the two lines or the two equations have the same y value. So that's why it doesn't matter which one we plug it into because the point where they intersect, they have the same y value. So that just kind of explains. When I plug in 7 for x, we see y is 1 because 7 plus 1 is 8. Now actually another thing here is let's say we had something like this and we had to multiply by a negative first. We could do the same thing here to illustrate that it works. Let's say we multiply this equation by a negative first. What do we do? We get negative 2 minus 4 equals negative 6. But when we add these, this gives us 1, this gives us 3, this adds to 4, and 1 plus 3 is 4. It doesn't matter if we first multiply an equation by a negative or whatever, when we add them, we, we still get, the, the end result is going to still be a true equation or a true statement.